Okay, at this time, a little sergeant at arms, please start the recordings. Your recording is up. Cloud is running. Thank you. Back up is rolling. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to today's remote New York City Council hearing on the Committee of Land Use. This is a vote. At this time, will all panelists please turn on their video for verification. Once again, all panelists, please turn on your video. Ask everyone to please place electronic devices on silent or vibrate mode. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. We are ready to begin. Thank you, um, Sergeant of Arms. Good morning. I am uh, Councilmember Rafael Salamanca. I am the chair of the committee on land use. Uh, today, we've been joined by my colleagues. We have Council Members Adams, Ayala, Barron, Borelli, uh, Diaz Sr., Gibson, Redenchik, Kuhl, Levin, Chair Moya, Reynoso, and Chair Riley. Today, we will vote on several applications referred out of our subcommittees. But before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to this committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. We ask that you please be patient if any technical difficulties arise today. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Um, thank you, Council. Uh, from our landmark subcommittee, today we will vote to approve LU 730, the Suda Avenue East New York Partnership Homes application. The application submitted by the Department of Housing and Preservation and Development uh, requests waivers of the designation requirements of Section 693 of the General Municipal Law and waiver of the requirements of 197C and 197D of the New York City Charter. It also requests approvals of the projects as an urban development action area project for property located at block 4049, part of lot 25 in Brooklyn Council District represented by Council Member Barron. This application will facilitate the conveyance of a small interior lot to the adjacent affordable housing development. From our housing uh, zoning subcommittee, I'm sorry, from our zoning subcommittee, we will vote to approve pre-considers LU 735 and 736 for the 91-32 63rd drive rezoning related to property in council member Kazowitz district in Queens. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment to change an existing R4-C2-2 district to an R7A slash C2-3 district and a related zoning text amendment to establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area utilizing options one and two. Together, these actions will facilitate the development of a new nine story mixed use building with approximately 74 dwelling units up to 24 of which would be affordable, as well as ground floor commercial use and accessory, accessory parking. We will also vote to approve pre-considers LU 737 for the 245-01 Jamaica Avenue rezoning related to property in council member Gredentia's district in Queens. The proposal seeks a zoning map amendment in an existing R4 district to change a C1-3 commercial overlay district to a C2-3. This will enable the applicant to file a special permit yeah, application the to, the board, a... to the Board of Standards and Appeals to legalize a physical culture establishment within an existing commercial building. We will also vote to approve. We will also vote to approve with modification pre-considers LU 718 and 719 for the 1620 Courtyou Road rezoning related to property in Council Member Eugene's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks a zoning map amendment and a zoning text amendment to facilitate the development of a new nine-story mixed-use building. As proposed, it would contain approximately 85 apartments, up to 16 of which would be affordable, as well as ground floor commercial use and 44 accessory parking spaces. However, after discussion with Council Member Eugene, the applicant will provide 80 apartments, 23 of which will be permanently affordable. Our modification would be to remove MIH option two while retaining option one. Members of the committee and members representing effective districts who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button now. Council, will you uh, announce members who have raised their hands? Yes, uh, Council Member Gredenchik has his hand raised. Uh, Council Member Gredenchik, you have the floor. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. Um, I just want to urge a vote to approve this 
a uh, very modest change in the zoning um, in my district. There's only a second land use uh, issue that's come this far in my district. We've worked very closely with the applicant and their attorney with the local community board and local civics. And uh, we have put a restrictive declaration in place that has been filed um, to prevent uh, any changes beyond what we are hoping to see and hoping to help uh, a New York City small business to stay in business at this location. So. I thank you for your indulgence, uh, Mr. Chair. And with that, my remarks are done. Thank you, uh, Councilmember Gredenchik. Uh, I would like to also recognize Councilmember Barron. Councilmember, you have the floor. Uh, thank you. I'm a little spotty here, so I may go off camera. I hear that the reception's better if you're not viewed. So if I go off, I hope my voice still goes on. Uh, I just want to call attention to Land Use 730. It's a conveyance and it will simply facilitate a portion of land that had not initially been designated that should have been attached to the adjoining homeowner's property, that's 730. But I do have questions. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get them to you earlier. But in terms of 718, 719, uh, I understand now that it's going to only be option one, but what in fact are the AMI's percentage breakdown in that category, as well as for 735 and 736? And again, I apologize. I normally have that in advance, but I did not get that information. Yes, council member. If you give me one minute, let me get that information for you. Okay. Just give me one, um, give me two minutes. Thank you. Um, Chair, should we proceed with the vote while we're getting that information for Council Member Barron? I would like to get her that information before we vote. Okay. Uh, so if you just can um, give me one second. I'm sorry, Council Member Barron. I, I, I have that information and I left it in my office and I'm at home. Oh, okay. I, I do apologize for this last minute inquiry. It okay. should have been done earlier. Councilmember Barron, I was informed that the uh, land yes. use uh, had e emailed you that information. I don't know if you have access to your email. Um, okay. I'm trying uh, to pull it up myself. So then uh, I will not continue to hold it up. I will try to access that and see what it says in terms of the AMI. Um, thank you. you I'll try it. to access my email. All right. Um, do we have other members? Any questions from other members from the uh, committee? No. See none. Uh, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local members to approve LU 730, 735, 736, and 737, and to approve with modifications I have described LU 718 and 719. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk. Roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, no. Gibson. I on all. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Baron. I'm going to vote aye on 730 and 737, and I will abstain on 718, 719, 735, and 736 until such time as I have been able to review the uh, information. And I do have it, but I haven't been able to review it. Thank you so much. And I just want to welcome our colleagues back. Councilmember Adams, welcome back. Thank you. Cool. I'm all right. Levin. Council member Levin. Okay. Uh, Council member Reynoso. 
I vote aye on all. Thank you. Traeger. Aye. Grodenchik. I vote aye on all. I want to thank um, land use staff for uh, all their help in getting my item this far uh, today and my own staff, uh, my chief of staff, Ari Gershman, my counsel, uh, Steve Bihar, and um, my special assistant, as I call her for planning, uh, Susan Seinfeld, poor, former chair, uh, former uh, manager of Community Board 11 in Queens. I thank you all uh, for your votes today. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Adams. I vote aye. Ayala. I vote aye on all with the exception of land use application 718 and 719. Diaz. Yes or no? Thank you. You got me? Moya. Yes, 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 yes. sorry. Yes. Council member Moya. I vote aye. Rivera. I just wanted to share council member Barron's sentiments and welcoming back council member Adams and I vote aye on all. Thank you. Riley. I would like to vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Borelli. Tough to go after council member Riley with his daughter next to him. That's very difficult, but I, I'll vote aye on all as well. Thank you, council member Deutsch. It's tough to go after Borelli with that T-shirt he's wearing with his name on it, but I vote I vote I and all. Council Member Levin, I vote I and all. Thank you. One moment. Okay, save results on the Committee on Land Use vote. We have introductions, excuse me, land use items 735 and 736 have been adopted by the committee 15 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and one abstention. Land use items 730 and 737 are adopted by the committee 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions. And land use items 718 and 719 adopted by the committee 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative and one uh, I don't thank see council member Miller. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, clerk. Just want to remind the uh, land use committee that at 12 PM, we will have our uh, budget hearing with uh, city planning. Um, and at 2 PM, we will have our budget hearing with do it. Um, so uh, thank you again. I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council and sergeant of arms and land use staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.